Welcome everybody to another special episode of Brunswick Group Therapy. I'm Kimberly. I'm Lucas. And this is Megan from Nutmeg Custom Creations. Co is that, did I say that right? Yeah, that's fine. Cookies, fine. Cookies, uh -huh. creations. <laughs> she creates custom cookies. And I know you've seen her post. They're absolutely gorgeous. And we're going to talk to her about her business. And she's going to teach or try to teach Lucas and I how to do this. First so, timer here. Yeah. He'll do great. Okay. <laughs> um, why don't you show us what we're doing to start and then we'll get started and ask you uh, sure. a little bit about your business. So we're going to do two cookies. We're going to try to do them in a good amount of time. So there's two different techniques we're working on. Um, we have a wet on wet technique right here where you do little hearts around a bigger heart. Just a very simple flood, wet dots, and then you take a toothpick right through it and I'll show you that. And then another one is a little Valentine's Llama. Um, and that one comes with little transfers that I've already made for the eyes and the nose. And um, we'll put it all together and we'll end up with something like that. Um, Hopefully. Mm -hmm. All right. right. Sure, it'll look exactly like that. Let's go. All right. Go. So the first step, we're going to do the heart first. So you Kimberly, you're going to do the heart. Okay. And your pink. And Lucas, you're going to do the llama. Okay. So what you're going to do is I have the cookies kind of drawn on a little bit, just mm -hmm. so you can see what they're going to look like. But you're actually going to flood, and um, when I say flood, I mean cover the entire cookie in icing. And then we're going to add all the other details to that. So when you use an icing bag, um, it's already been cut for you, and you shake it up a little bit, which has already been done. You don't want to do that after I shake, after I cut it. Okay. You're going to take your um, icing bag and you're going to kind of hold it in the palm of your hand right here and use your thumb and your pointer finger to kind of move the icing down and apply pressure. Sure. So when you're doing the Got cookie, mm -hmm. um, and I'm just going to do it right here on this plate, when you're doing the cookie itself, you're just going to apply pressure and lift the icing bag off of the cookie to get your straight line mm -hmm. and you're going to go all the way around like this and then for that straight line and then you're gonna apply more pressure and just fill in from the center out and don't be afraid to add too much icing to that so if you guys want to get started okay so we're going to outline you first mm -hmm. yeah you're going to outline the whole cookie lucas you're going to leave a couple parts bare okay so you have some ears right here right. you're going to leave that bare and then the tips of your feet right there are going to be a different color so just leave a little spot for those so you're going to lift off the cookie. Um, the higher you go, the straighter your line will be. Oh. Up. Yep. Wow. Just like that. Look at that. Um, our hands shake a little bit as we go. Yeah. For the llama, it doesn't matter quite as much. And okay. you can go on the inside a little bit if you want um, and leave some cookie around the outside. Good and job. then you just apply more pressure. Start where you started before mm -hmm. and go right against that line and push. All right. And how long have you been doing this and what got you started? So I've been in about six years. Let me see that bag for one second. Let me fix that for you. Yes, the so bag So I've been doing that heavy. about, this <laughs> about six years. And I'm self-taught sure. for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, I started in food service. I worked for Hands and Key West Cafe. And then down at Tri-C West, I ran their food service for a while. Am I doing this right? And when I, yep, yeah, looks good. Just start going all the way around the whole perimeter now and fill it all in. Okay. Okay? And you're going to want to kind of move fast. The faster, the better. Don't be afraid to apply icing and get a nice thick flood. Each cookie has about a half an ounce of icing on it. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure you get there. Like this? Yep, just like that. All right. Um, so I had kids and um, just the restaurants were not working out great for me. Mm -hmm. So um, I just decided to learn this. I have a marketing degree from Kent and um, a Le Cordon Bleu culinary degree from Pennsylvania. And so food was my thing. All right. Looks good. I'm having mm -hmm. some fun, fun so far. I feel like I'm coloring. That's basically yeah. what you're doing. Yep. Yeah. So now you want to go back and you want to kind of hit up these spots like right here around the, the bigger edges. Ones. Got yeah, it. those bigger spots. And you can actually go closer to the cookie to get those and move the icing around with the top of the bag. So tell us a little about your business. What, what do you do? Um, 
Is it just what cookies do you offer? or do you do other things too? So yeah, um, well I've started doing other things such as cookie cakes and things like that. And She's like, Kimberly, I'm going to fix your mouse here. Turn this whole thing around and we're going to take our scribe now and we're going to move the icing around with the scribe just like this. I'm using a toothpick, but you can use like a turkey baster if you want or a scribe tool. Can I see this for one second? Absolutely. I'm just gonna add just a little bit more icing. Oh, you can't have too much. Yep. Right around the edges there. I'm a firm believer. You can never have too much icing. Okay, so now take your scribe tool there. All right, my scribe And tool. just move the icing around and shake the cookie a little bit. Got it. You can stick the pick right in. I'm ready to do that yep. too, Yep, huh? stick the pick right in, uh, just like this. So you're going to take your pick and you're going to stick it in and shake it. Oh, look at that. What? That's magic. Yep, right in there. Holy it heck. It to move the icing around real nice. And then you can I use your, scry your pick and fill in or your icing bag and fill in if you need to. Very cool. So neat. So hmm. we are going to add a little more icing to yours. Okay. And it smooths it out. That is so cool. Let's see. So we're just going to take this, if I can reach, and we're just going to add some icing right to that, just like that. And while it's nice and wet, you're going to move it around just like that. Now you're going to take some red, okay, and you're just going to add dots. Remember where I had those dots? Yeah, vaguely. Yep. So we're going to add a dot, 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 all the way around the okay. perimeter. Got it. And then take your toothpick and just kind of move that icing around where you have holes like right. this. Yep, just from the top. And in a circular motion works great, just like that. And you can use your finger to hold it if it's kind of slippery. So how long does it take you to make like a dozen cookies? Like I know it's uh, probably based on the design probably. Sure, yeah, it is. Like and average. I don't really do a dozen a day, so I <laughs> usually average close to three to four dozen a day. And I work basically from the time my kids go to school until the mm. time you know, I make dinner. Sometimes later, sometimes not so late. You know, it depends on what I have going on. Um, a dozen cookies when I first started used to take me you know, literally days. So you're gonna take your scribe tool or toothpick and you're gonna start here and you're just gonna move it to make your hearts just like that. Looky there. And you can do the other side. Yeah. And then when you're done with that, you take um, your toothpick and stick it right in the middle again. And do the a shake clean toothpick and shake it again. Yeah. Good. Look at that. And then shake it with a clean toothpick. Or I can use the other side. Sure. Right? Look at that shake thing. That's so cool. Yeah, so uh, what you can do it, it is hides the errors. Take right? your and then you just take your toothpick and you kind of push that and that will eliminate that hole there. Wow. So icing is pretty forgiving if it's the right consistency and that's what's going to make or break a lot of cookie people is the consistency of your, to of your icing. Mm -hmm. um, what I use is a flood icing, probably 8 to 10 seconds, meaning when it's in a bowl you can take a spoon and run it through, and however long it takes to kind of melt back into a solid form is your consistency. Mm -hmm. So now you're gonna switch, okay? And you can do a pink heart, okay. and you can do a white llama. There you go. And basically you're gonna do the same thing. So flood the entire cookie, go around the outside first, mm -hmm. and then flood in with, with more pressure. And you're gonna do the same thing too. Just leave a small spot right at the edge for the feet, the hoofs to add on. So you take orders in home for cookies. Yeah, I do it all myself, so. Cookie cakes, and what Cookie else? cakes, um, I started doing cookie sickles, um, which are like cake sickles, but made with cookie dough instead. Um, so they're pretty good. They're dipped in chocolate and... Just mm. fill it in? Yep, just fill it in. Wow. Same way. Like before? Yep, all the way around. Keep going around the perimeter. Lucas, use a little more pressure. Um, use your so palm of your hand. Right. That's it, like that. And don't be afraid to add the icing. So push hard and you can actually get your tip right to the edge of the cookie there. And yep, see, that'll give you your straight lines and flood it all the way in. Okay. Good. 
And then I offer cookie classes. So right now, most of my cookie classes are done private in home, mm -hmm. and people call me, and we have parties and set up, you know, where we're going to do it, what time, and everything else. So it's a lot of fun. So that might be a like a fun idea of maybe for bachelorette party that don't oh, want to yeah. drink or anything yep. like that, yep. and they can do... Yeah, or they can drink because they're in the privacy of their own home, and true. they can do whatever they want. So yeah, <laughs> we could do... Uh, I've true. done book clubs. I have a Girl Scout group tomorrow doing cookies. Oh, that's fun. Um, yeah, so... This has become a very popular thing to uh, do, especially in the wintertime, you know. Oh, yeah. I see, see a lot of it happening. Any of those kind of classes, you know, the painting and the things like that, anything where you can use any kind of creativity. Okay. So right in there and give Should it a jiggle? shake. Yep, give it a shake. Same with you, Lucas. And you'll see the icing kind of flow back. If you're not flowing very nicely, you can certainly add more icing where you need to. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is so much fun. Yep, so now all you have to do is you can fill take your icing bag and fill it in. And you can do the same and take your icing bag and fill in those spots a little bit and then shake it up again. So this gives me a whole new appreciation for when you see them posted all the time and mm -hmm. people are like, oh, I want these for 50 cents a piece. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's a lot of work. It so is a lot, a lot of, work. of people don't take into account, you know, how I'm much you've practiced step. and how much you've put into learning the craft and doing it well. And then, you know, you're doing two cookies, so when you do multiple dozens, right. each one is done by hand. Um, so, and, and that all takes time. Sure. What's your favorite, like, Designed to make. Oh, I like those little um, little tiny faces on things. Like I love to add the eyelashes, as my daughter would say, mm. and make girl cookies. Girl cookies. Um, but yeah, I like I like them all. I, there's some that I don't like. Like I don't like doing flowers too much because the icing gets real thick for um, flowers, and you have to, um, you know, it kind of hurts your hand after a while. So, um, but other than that, yeah. But Anything these goes great, like baby shower or oh yeah, yeah I get a I've lot seen. of baby showers, a lot of um, wedding showers, graduations a huge thing, first communions are huge. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of real popular times of the year. May is probably one of my busiest months of the year, and um, yeah. All right, so you can take your red if you want, and mm -hmm. you can add your dots, and then just take that center and push that down with your toothpick a little bit. You kind of just push it in with the tip of your toothpick. Looks great. All right. We're close. It almost looks like a llama, right? <laughs> okay, so you can take your um, nose and you can add it right onto your llama. Oh so you're just going to use your hands and then you'll use the tip of your toothpick. Kind of just drop it where you want it without pushing hard on it. I was wanting to see which way the nose is going. Okay, and then the two little eyes. So awesome. you might um, want to use a toothpick to apply those. If you have just a little bit of icing on the tip of your toothpick, it's easier to pick them up and apply them. And so you'll do the dots, and then you'll take a clean toothpick and swirl that all the way through. This is great, you guys are doing great. Yeah, Thank you that. so much That's for fun. having me. Oh yeah. You know what though? Your, your job is safe, let me tell you. <laughs> no. Okay, your job is so safe. your next goal is going to be adding that saddle onto Got the it. llama. Okay. So we're going to do blue. I did red here, but we're going to do blue, and then you can pick your color. You can pick either red or pink for your saddle, and you're just going to make one outline. The blue is a little thicker, so you're going to have to push a little harder. You're going to hold it the way we taught you, and then you're going to push hard and drag up. Um, drag up to make that straight line and all it's going to be is like an outline. I just wanted to make sure I have that cut right. So I'm going to cut that just a little bigger. Did you just put these little? I you did. Said, okay, wait. Yep. I'll help you, Lucas. Hold on one second. You guys went in a different order. <laughs> so there's two different ways to do this. So you can do your, your back, your do the saddle bag. on that. Got it. And if you want to add the lines in blue for the um, 
little thing around his neck, whatever okay. that's called. But you I'm can do doing, that as well. am just, I doing this in blue or yep. this blue? Just the outline. Oh, just the, the outline. outline. So what's in got red, it. you're gonna actually do in blue on that. Got it, got okay, it. Okay, so for you, yours might already be a little dry. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna take your white and you're gonna apply a little dab of that right to your um, bag box right there. Okay. And you're gonna just pick this up mm -hmm. and put Dab that right in there, and okay. then you're going to put it right where the nose would go. So you on said the you llama. made these little noses and I ice? did, yeah. Same icing. Oh my gosh. Yep. Oh, I that's did about a hundred of them. <laughs> well, so you got them ready to go. <laughs> yes. So anywhere you want, right there. And then you're going to use your toothpick to actually push that down, but not too hard because you don't want to. Um, you don't want to, yeah, dent your icing. And then you're going to do the same thing. So I told Kimberly that you could take your toothpick and you can dip it in a little icing. Mm -hmm. And from that, you just touch, touch the top and it'll kind of stick. It's, it makes okay. it a little easier to apply it. Okay. And I'm just going to take this off. Did you, you said put it on the back or? We'll figure it out. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Yep. And the other one right next to it. And then you can take your saddle there and you can add red or pink in the middle right here. Whichever color you want. What size groups do you usually um, have? For classes? Yeah. Uh, anything over six. So usually it's about 12 is my... Okay. It's pretty pretty steady, um, and they don't really need to supply anything except a place to sit. I come in and I uh, set everything up, and I uh, clean everything up as best that I can with everybody sitting there, and then um, you know we we do the class, and and it's a good time. Everybody takes their cookies home and enjoys them. I have had your cookies and your cookie cake. Very good <laughs> cookies. Thank you. So you're going to do the same thing for that, but instead of shaking it, you're just going to use the top of your toothpick and kind of swirl it around with that red in there okay. a little bit. So what you're going to do is outline the saddle for okay. the llama okay. and then add the little um, lines around the neck there. Yeah. What is that called? I don't even know. A little yeah, thicker necklace? I have make no mine idea. a little different. Bridal, maybe? No? <laughs> what is it? I have no idea. Where's our horse people? Bridles? Yes. Um, Harness. So what you want to do, um, Lucas, is outline it in blue though, because the blue is a different consistency. Okay. So it's a little thicker, gotcha. and it'll keep the icing from running. Understood. And then you can fill it in in any color you want. All right. So once again, this is Megan from Nutmeg, Nutmeg Custom Cookies. Custom Cookies. Yeah. I, I still want to say Creations, but <laughs> I guess it's the that same would be thing. good. I mean, I, when I started, I did only cookies, so now I'm doing a little bit more and. I just actually tried baking like those jumbo chocolate chip cookies today. Oh man, they were good. <laughs> Did you put icing on them then? No, oh, no icing. My goodness. Just your good old chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, I don't, so I don't think you need anything with a chocolate chip cookie. Just the cookie. So now you can add a heart to that. And the way you're gonna add a heart is I'm gonna show you on this plate here. You're gonna um, always have my icing bags nice and clean. So you're gonna add two circles, one. And two, just like that. Okay. And you're going to take your toothpick and you're just going to drag them down, just like that. Wow. Okay. Right on top here. Right on top. Mm -hmm. Two nice circles. And then um, you can fill in your saddle there okay. with any color you want. All right. So usually the classes are about two hours, mm -hmm. and we have a little more time to work on more cookies and let them dry as we go, because um, as you can see, that's a big part of, of yeah. doing cookies, is they need a little bit of time to dry. Um, otherwise, you're doing mostly wet on wet techniques, which works too. So it gets so quiet. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're concentrating. Such concentration. See the smoke coming out. I, yeah, I, I've started watching like old TV shows while I'm working, so I don't even, I can't. Oh gosh. Yeah. So when Looks somebody great. calls for a class, do, do you give them suggestions on what kind of cookies to make? Like how many different cookie Well, we, I can do, do anything that anybody wants, really. So the Girl Scouts wanted... Um, like my February class was mostly, or January class was Taylor Swift, and then February is a Galentine's Day. 
But um, they don't. They just wanted regular Valentine's cookies. Mm -hmm. So we just did. I just did something cute that would mm -hmm. be good for, you know, little little girls to work on. Um, but yeah, anything that anybody wants to do. And I kind of send them some options. But I try to do like one class a month. One type, one theme. Oh yeah. So mm -hmm. you prepare the cookies because you had to draw all that on there and. Yeah, so I try to make it easy. Some people use like projection and some people use videos and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I try to make it pretty easy by drawing on the cookies and then we go by steps to um, go through each part. Well, that's awesome, Kimberly. Uh, you know, your, your job <laughs> is still safe though. I mean, <laughs> so add a little bit of tip to the bottom, either red or pink. If you want, if you save some room, that'll be the hoofs. And then uh, you can add some any embellishments you want. Yeah, you can add pink to the ears. What if you do you just put to. that heart on top of there? Or? Yep. Oh, so the heart, two little Pay dots attention. right next to each other. Mm -hmm. And then you just take your um, toothpick and you drag it down to the point. Mm -hmm. So just two nice circles next to each other. One, two. All right. And take your toothpick. <laughs> It gets kind of messy too. Sticky. Yeah, I think it's sticky after a while. So the last time we were in studio, My we God. were talking to Greg mm -hmm. Clement about the winery and everything, and he didn't bring any wine. At least Megan brought cookies. <laughs> she's taking them with her. Well, she's not going to let, let us keep them. She is not <laughs> taking these with her because she doesn't want anyone to know who made these. She doesn't want to th anyone to think it came out of her. So if you pulled Repertoire. it too much like that, you yeah. can fix it by adding more white if you want, or you can leave it as like a tie-dyed heart. Tie-dyed heart. Yeah, that's what I would do too. <laughs> I like a tie-dyed heart. That's cool. How much notice do you need when somebody calls and says like, Oh, I can like work. I can get them together pretty fast. Okay. Um, cookie cakes I could do for next day, you know, um, regular cookies. It just depends on what I have going on for the most part. But yeah, I can get orders done pretty quickly. I'm putting more on this. I need to get creative. Ready? Wait. How about white? Mm -hmm. You can add a big white heart in the middle of that and pull it down if you want. You can write on them. And you offer these in businesses too, we talked about. I do, yep. What do you mean? Like, Explain. Uh, like if there's a business that wants to have her and um, have a class oh, in the business. That would be like a good team building kind yes. of. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. It would oh, be. that would be. It does. I it works out great. think about that. Yeah. yeah. Like a, get your team together. And... You know what you could do is you could pass the cookie on to the next person and then that person could add to the cookie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. All right. I think that's uh That was a lot of fun. What do you think? Oh, look at that. I know, right? That's the best part about the classes, when mm -hmm. people add their own flair mm -hmm. and do their own thing. Mm -hmm. So like for these little Girl Scouts that I d I'm doing tomorrow, I'm leaving the cookies a little more plain than I normally would because kids tend to want to do their own thing. Yeah. So it leaves them plenty of options to be able to do whatever they want. So and if people want to contact you besides Facebook, how else can they get a hold of you? Uh, well, I have a website, Not Meg Custom Cookies. I'm on Instagram and then, um, yeah, that's, you can email, but you find it all on Facebook. So again, everyone, it's um, Nutmeg Custom Cookies, mm -hmm. okay? Um, you'll see her stuff everywhere. Um, you won't see our stuff anywhere <laughs> else, so make sure you get a look at it now. It looks fantastic. Lucas I and I are going to go back we, to our normal jobs. Do we have to wait for it to dry before we can eat it? You don't. Okay. Um, but the, it'll crust up as it dries. So what kind of cookie is this? That's a vanilla sugar cookie and vanilla royal icing on top. Mm -hmm. Doesn't get any better than that. Yeah. The classics. Classic. Yeah. Right there. Yes. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you so for much, Kimberly. Us. It's been Thanks, a lot Thanks of fun. So much. Great you again. And uh, like I said, your job's safe. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for joining us, you guys. Um, once again, thank you to Megan. Nutmeg Custom Cookies or Confections you got it. or cookies. something. You got or cookies it. <laughs> and everything that she does. Uh, look her up on Facebook. You'll see her on Small Business Saturday uh, post. Yes. And um, she's always pops in there. Mm -hmm. I see her on there. So we're so glad she came. Thank you to Erin, Lucas's wife, for being our uh, agent and hooking us up with her. And, Booking um, agent, and, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and also thank you to Bet Studios. Uh, once again, we're back here again and the guys are just great. And we wanna mm -hmm. um, encourage you all, if you'd like to do something like this, 
you can do it too. You can book a time with the studio and come on in and have some fun. It's easy and fun. Take care, Brunswick. All right, we'll see you guys. Bye-bye. See ya. As always, I want to thank you for checking out the Brunswick Group Therapy Podcast and for supporting local Brunswick area businesses. If you enjoyed your time, please check us out online at brunswickgrouptherapy.com where you can continue the conversation with a voice message that may be featured on future podcast episodes or posts. You can also follow us on our Brunswick Group Therapy social media pages on both YouTube and Facebook. If you own or manage an area business and would like to be featured in an upcoming Brunswick Group Therapy podcast, please reach out to Kimberly or I through any of our social media pages. We are passionate about supporting local, and it's the reason for this podcast. Thank you for joining us for another therapy session. A reminder that the views, thoughts, and opinions expressed on this program are solely those of the participants and do not represent any business, group, employer, or organization. The material information presented here is for general information and entertainment purposes only.